That's the power of Facebook. <laughs> you ask a question and then it explodes. It certainly did. Jamie Ferris's question about how to provide dog houses for animals that need them grew into a Facebook group 122 members strong. Now about two dozen people from animal rescue organizations meeting for the first time in Kingsport. We're kind of their voice. They don't have anyone else. So um, we have a passion and love for animals and want to help them. Organizations that help provide dog houses, free fencing, homes for pets, and more, all now working together. They're from all across the region, five different counties in Tennessee and Virginia. The more the better for the animals, um, the more resources we can pull. You know, there's there's lots of needs out there. The group has a long list of projects to meet the needs of animals in our region. We have a lot of overpopulation with spay and neuter that needs to be happening dogs on chains that need to come off chains. Projects include a program to provide free dog houses for animals in the cold, a pet food bank, low-cost spay and neutering, and a co-op for rescue organizations. The meeting focused on deciding where to start. When it comes to a pet food bank, that's going to require a lot of money and it's going to require a lot of effort, whereas the dog house program, we could probably get, um, you know, some free labor. That Facebook question that grew into a group is now on a mission to fight for better conditions for animals. There's so many opportunities and if we'll just believe we can do it, we can. In Kingsport, Caleb Purney, News 5 WCYB.